everyone welcome back to uh, this channel today I will be cooking my first first meal video in this little Airbnb in this tiny little kitchen this is the kitchen right here and this is the bathroom door right here and I'm not a very big person it's very tiny so I'm going to be making spicy noodles that's what I'm craving it's my first full meal that I'm going to be eating in a few days and I'll tell you why I couldn't eat uh, the past couple of days. So let me cook it and as I eat I will share, I will give you a story of, it'll be a story time. Yeah, because the sink is so small, the space is so limited here, I'm going to have to do the dishes. Um, they have all the seasonings here too. So we have a limited amount of bowls. So each meal we eat, we have to um, do the dishes. So in this tiny little kitchen that has a washing machine, washer underneath the stove, and only a tiny little range here. We can only put two hot items cooking, so. I will do dishes and then get cooking because I am craving spicy noodles. It's so small here. drank Coke out of this little shot glass, Coca-Cola. I'm not a drinker, so we drink soda in here because I don't want to drink too much soda. I'm playing house here because everything is so small. And every time I turn around, I bump into things. That's the only complaint I have about living in this small, tiny place. I have to make every movement intentional. Did I already do that? This is my favorite right here. I bought some, so I'll be taking home a few of these very light, thin glass mugs.
First, let's boil the water. So I'll be cooking the bibimyeon. This is spicy noodles, but it's not spicy like the nuclear fire noodles. These are not that bad. These are very tasty. The flavor is a little similar. And I guess they put apples in here. Kind of and I will be adding to that. Um, I will top it off. A couple of eggs and the shrimp. Let me grab the cucumber that I have in here. An easy way to crack, crack an egg is crack, crack, crack. Run it under water You want to rinse the noodles in cold water. So I'm going to get some of these mushrooms. I don't know what they're called. Mushrooms are all good for you, so... I'm going to add a little oil to the frying pan. Then add the mushrooms. Just throw it in there. I'll just add a little bit of salt.
while the mushrooms are cooking, I'm going to be air frying the shrimp. Now noodles get clumpy, so these are cold noodles that I'm eating. And to avoid getting clumpy noodles, I can add ice in there. That'll make it easier to mix the sauce in later. I'm going to mix the noodles first. The sesame oil. No, what is that? That's not sesame oil, maybe corn syrup, some sweetener. Sweet or corn syrup and mix. Okay, so I'm ready to eat. Let me do my thumbnail. The lighting is very bad in here, so I'm going to have to edit the video, make it brighter or something. Let me get my noodles. Do my thumbnail and get that out of the way. That's the best I can do. Okay, it's been a while since I ate a full meal like this, so I don't know if I can finish it. So let me say my prayer and let's get started. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you do for us. We thank you for the blessings you have given us on a daily basis. Father God, thank you for healing me. Thank you for allowing me to uh, have this great trip. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you do. Bless this food, Lord. Bless everyone here today. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so my first bite. The reason why I couldn't eat for the past, I think, almost three days. I've gained a little weight now, but uh, yesterday I was barely even walking around because I think I got food poisoning. You saw all the food that I was eating. I was eating like there was no tomorrow. I didn't even get enough sleep. I slept maybe three hours on the plane and I arrived here and it was 4 a.m. I didn't sleep. I just kept going and going. This is the shrimp that I bought at the Lotte Mart. Hmm. Tastes like Chinese, you know, the Chinese, the shrimp, the sweet and sour shrimp. Food is tasting like food again. Mm. So basically I was inside this little apartment, tiny studio apartment 
for almost three days. I have to be near a toilet, you know, <laughs> if you get my drift. It was horrible. I lost a lot of weight and yesterday afternoon was when I started eating again. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I was literally in bed for two and a half days. Maybe I needed that break because back at home, I was always on the go too. So I think God gave me this time, this quiet time to rest my body. So for my drink, this is the most popular like a 7-Up Sprite lemon lime soda mixed with Pokarisu Wetu. This is like an electrolyte drink, sort of like Gatorade. And this is not uh, carbonated, but I like to have that carbonation, so I'm mixing both. I hope you guys are not sick. I hope you guys are all doing well, don't you just love this mug? I love this. So half of this. And this is the electrolytes. And I also had nausea, so I was like feeling not so good. And the thought of food, all the food that I ate, it just made me sick. But now I feel this is the normal, the normalest I've been feeling since what, three, four days ago. And I don't usually get sick, I'm a pretty healthy person. But when you're tired, and also I think, I think about the food, maybe the crowd here, it gets so crampy in the subways. Korea is so much fun. And I actually wanted to move here. But during those times when I was just laying down all day long, I missed home. I don't know, my heart is torn, torn between two countries. Let me show you what I'm eating. You know, this is not spicy enough. I'm gonna go get some this. This goes with everything. Not a lot, but it's missing. It's not as strong as I would like it, so I'm just adding a little more.
Could it be the water here? Or milk? They lied. This was supposed to be shrimp. This is chicken. It's like orange chicken, spicy orange chicken. Mm -hmm. Or I might have misread the label. So far, I'm holding this down, but the last few days I try to eat something, I would take a few bites and then I would have to stop right there or, I'm, I, or I'd feel like I'm going to throw up. So far, so good. And I have cold sores. I've just been too tired, I think. I arrived here on, let's see, I left the States 12 o'clock midnight, Sunday night arrived here and it was Tuesday 4 a.m. arrived here at 4 a.m. starting Wednesday I started to travel everywhere without getting a good rest and so I think when your body is weak and it, your immune system is down then you're prone to getting sick I had a lot to say while I was making this. I forgot what to say. So I'm just gonna eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to get that feeling like I don't eat anymore. I'm going to stop. I don't think I'm 100% better. Maybe 85. So I will stop there. And I will only eat what my body tells me to eat. And only eat the amount that my body can take. Okay, Because I want to hurry up and uh, recuperate and start going out. I haven't been out in three days. Today, I felt pretty good. Took a shower last night. And you know how you could feel that you're getting a little better? Last night, I was thinking when I took a shower about 80%, 75, 80% better this morning. About 80, right now 85, almost 90 maybe. But this, this meal is making me a little nauseated again. Spices usually, you know, cut out the nausea for me, but I think, I think my stomach shrunk. All right, that's it. Living room right here. 
TV is right here next to me. I could touch the screen. Back there, the kitchen, the bathroom, right in front of me, and my foot could almost touch the bed here. Very, very tiny. Uh, living here temporarily is making me realize how blessed I am to have a you know huge place compared to this place in my home in the states so korea is a very small country and um i've shown you a lot of tall buildings the reason why is both the north and the south combined the country is smaller than the state that i live in california so that is why all the apartments are you know built up and so you see all those high-rise buildings i'm very terrified of heights so uh and i'm on the eighth floor right now it's very kind of scary so i don't want to want to look out the window much so if i were to ever live in korea i would live in maybe they call it a villa up to about six floors i think they call it a villa <clears throat> and in korea um the richer you are, you live in, you know, high apartments, apartment buildings. And even a three bedroom apartment here in Korea is pretty small. It's the equivalent of a, a small apartment in, in the States. So count your blessings, you, you guys that are in America, count your blessings. Your tiny apartment is much bigger than, a, you know, a large apartment here in Korea space is very limited and in the countryside there's a lot of space but who wants to live in the country right everyone wants to live in the city so the cities are very populated you go in the subways people are right standing you know strangers come standing right of right in front of you and the buses get packed it's you know those of you that have claustrophobia or if you have social anxieties, it's going to be very tough for you to live here. But it's interesting for me and it's still fun. I, we still have, you know, quite a few days left to go traveling and, you know, doing things. But uh, during those couple of days that I was in bed, I was so bored out of my, you know, out of my mind. I missed home. So... Uh, there's a part of Korea that I like, and I also like my home now, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future, but I would like to try to live here maybe a year to try it out. But I'm already kind of homesick. I'm missing all the American food. They do have some here, but it's not the same. So, And our daughter's here, so it's tearing me apart. And hopefully by the time I go back, I can eat all the foods that I miss. I don't know. If, I, if I'm if i here in Korea, I miss America. If I'm in America, I miss Korea. So what do I do? <laughs> we'll see what God has planned for Mystery Granny and me. All right. Thank you for staying. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate your support. And thank God I feel better. Hopefully I recuperate completely before I get on the plane. Thank you for staying. Thank you for all your love and support. May God bless you and we will see you in the next video. Peace out.